tools of the trade. To get started, I have before me a whole bunch of stuff on my table here, which I will show you and recommend you can get to do better in your math class. First step is to make sure you have, of course, a writing utensil. Okay, uh, you can do a regular pencil. Uh, I prefer uh, mechanical pencil. Uh, nothing fancy. You can get a cheap one or something like this. Get yourself a cap eraser or a little bit fancy eraser if you want. I prefer these to have the click mechanism down here because uh, I'm lazy. And why go all the way over here and go click and click and then go all the way back over here just to get the lead flowing. You know, I'd rather just go click, click. So. Now, here is a hot tip. Mm -mm. When you're writing with your pencil, and it seems to break all the time, guess what? It probably means your lead is too thin. There is a number of different types of lead. You have 0.5 millimeter lead, which I prefer to because I have a very really light touch when I write. But uh, there are students out there that, that press kind of hard. So if you press kind of hard, you get a 0.7 or even a 0.9. Uh, thickness of lead and that should solve your problem. Another thing is to you know make sure you don't have too much of the lead sticking out. If, if it looks like a syringe then you got too much out. All right, so don't do that. So just make sure a couple clicks that's all you really need really. If your pencil point still breaks well then you need something you know a little bit thicker like something like this. All right, so you can just write as hard as you want with this bad boy and it's not gonna break. I'm sorry. All right, let's talk about other tools of the trade. Of course, uh, I recommend some pens. I got a few right here. Uh, get yourself different color pens. Nothing fancy, this is just cheap pens I got off the supply store. Those will all be good. Or, hope I didn't hurt something. Even better, get yourself a multicolored pen. Uh, the orange barrels mean uh, fine points. If it's a blue barrels, it's medium points. So that's all you need. I hope I don't have any glass over there. Okay, anyway, let's continue. Uh, other miscellaneous items for tutoring and also for class use. I'll get yourself, uh, an, uh, I prefer the all-purpose correction pen. Okay. Uh, in other words, you know, some kind of white-out material uh, to make, take care of mistakes. Uh, highlighter is always good. I, of course, I prefer green, but any color is fine. To highlight material in my notes or in your textbook or whatnot. Of course, you do need a calculator, and uh, here's a subtle hint of the type of calculator you really should have, GI-84, and I think I talked about that, well, I did talk about that in the getting started area. Uh, get yourself a little ruler. Uh, I prefer the metal ones with a uh, like spongy background here, but and, you know, if you can't find those, just get yourself any regular, you know, like multi, you know, little plastic ruler like this. Not, not all these, just one. But I'm just showing this, they come in a variety of colors and stuff. Uh, again, if you're doing a, quite a bit of uh, drawing, if you let's say you're taking a geometry class in high school, get yourself maybe a 12-inch a ruler. Okay? Uh, it could be wood, it could be plastic, whatever. Uh, but again, the best ones are the ones made out of metal, uh, if you can get those, with, again, the cork or sponge background. Why? Because, again, I'm lazy. And these plastic ones, well, they're on the table, you gotta like uh, slide the rulers off the table, and we don't want that. So this one you can just pick them up easily. So now you, again, you don't need an 18 inch rule. This is just for illustration purposes only. Whee! I think I heard something there again. All right. Uh, of course, if you just have a regular pencil like this, uh, sharpener is always a good thing. Just to sharpen this thing. Uh, again, for drawing, what I would recommend is getting yourself a compass. Uh, this is my preferred type of compass, the one with the, the center wheel. It's a little more precise. It, it doesn't wobble. Uh, there are others, like you can go to get a, just a cheap dollar or something compass, but after a while, it gets kind of flimsy here. Plus, you know, good luck getting through airport security with this thing. It's not going to happen. All right. So don't go with necessarily the cheapest. Um, another type of compass 
is, I like these. This is from the same company that makes, makes these. Uh, good balance, and of course, this and the blue one has uh, their own little extra attachment. So, and they're actually pretty cheap. I got, I got this at uh, Staples. Uh, you can just go to staples.com, right there's the yeah, address right there. And you might be able to find these. If you are a younger student, and you're a little worried about the compasses, well, you know, this one isn't too, too dangerous. It has a very small point, which you can actually cover over here. But they also make available what are called safety compasses. And these are kind of neat if you just need to draw some quick circles. You can just put your pencil in here and just circle it around. Uh, or place this on the board and put the pencil in here. And you can draw your circles. I'm not draw actually drawing a circle, but you can see the, what I'm doing here. But I don't recommend these if you're doing what I call compass and straight edge construction in geometry. Um, stick with uh, old tried and true for that. All right. If you want to splurge a little bit and get a few extra things, if you're, again, taking a drawing uh, class, or if, actually if you are a teacher and you're preparing sample tests or review materials for your students, I would recommend getting uh, what I call geometric templates, something like this. All right. This particular one is from Austin Publishing. It's actually in Australia. I got this from a company in Australia, and I love this thing. If I had to invent my own template, it would have been this. They didn't do it. If you have, a, and the address is right there. So just check that website out for more information. Uh, if you cannot get one of these, uh, here are two other ones. Here's how one of them looks like. It's called a safety geometry template. Uh, the other one's kind of hard to see, so I'll, I have a, also, of course, another tool of a trade is just the folders. Plastic ones are good, but anyway, I digress. Uh, maybe you can see that a little bit easier. Here's another type of uh, a template uh, it's from Geometry Labs. Key Curriculum Press. You can get both of these at the two websites that I'm going to be flashing below here. Okay. Uh, there's also another area on my website where I have all the links to different materials that you can actually get. All right. So that's that's a valuable tool. Uh, again, if you're taking algebra or calculus, you really don't need these. This is mostly again for geometry. Just the one side here. Uh, also, again, geometry, get yourself uh, some kind of protractor. Uh, this is just one example. Here's another one made by a company called Safety. Uh, these are pretty neat. Okay, so get yourself one of these if you can, if you're doing, again, a class where you have to deal with angles. Uh, again, for geometry or trigonometry, you're going to need yourself a set of triangles. Uh, this is a 45-45 triangle. This is a 30-60 triangle. Uh, again, these are a little bit smaller than, uh, let's say, for our display purposes for a wall, but again, these are good size for students. And the nice thing about these things, you can get your, get your pencil here, and you can actually either draw on the outside, or they also have a, an inner triangle, which I think is kind of neat. A few other tools that I would recommend you get, again, something for your desk at home. Get yourself one of these. Well, what's this? Well, let's actually use this binder as a Pretend that that's my desk, so we have something right here. This is simply a drawer liner that you for your kitchen, for example. You can get this in any kitchen section of, let's say, you know, Walmart or Kmart or Target or whatever. And uh, it's a nice spongy material. And the nice thing about this, you can put things on it and see they, they don't slide around. And if it's on a desk and you're studying, if you want to lean here and rest up a bit or whatever, think about life and the universe and everything. Well, I love this thing. I actually take one of these with me to tutoring when I'm tutoring out, uh, out and about. Other things I recommend you get, if you have a chance, uh, just these individual uh, pockets for your binder where you can actually put in the different types of uh, graphing pages that I have provided to you on the CD and on the website. These are the Actual pages are free, so you don't have to pay for those. And it's just a way to keep yourself better organized. And again, that is, again, one of the 
keys to doing well is to stay organized. Another way to stay organized, again, keep things, let's say a little, little pencil bag here, or this is like a bank purse type bank bag. Uh, again, many office supply stores have these, they're cheap. You can keep different miscellaneous items in here when you go to class. So that, that way you don't have to go through your whole backpack and stuff. Uh, when you print up my, my notes, uh, you may want to put them actually in the, your binder. So you get yourself a little hole puncher. And if you want to go all out, then get yourself something that has like a three hole punch like this. You can just put the page right in here and you know stamp. Okay. That's not myself there. But again, this is a little, just a little bit fancy. You don't really need this, but it comes in handy. I'll just use one of these. Now, the next thing I rec highly, absolutely recommend you get is this right here. Well, actually, it's without, it's actually like one of these. It's not the page. This is called the communicator. I know, it sounds kind of weird, but uh, it's from EAI Education. Again, there's a website. I love this thing. I wish I would have invented it myself. In fact, I sort of came up with something, and that's what this comes in. I, when I printed up my, my graphing pages, I printed up on cardstock. Don't just use regular paper. Use cardstock, like one ten pound. 110 pound uh, weight card stock. It's like index card type. Uh, you print your, uh, like a master graphing page on um, both sides. And what I do, I just, I just slipped it in one of these, uh, these page protectors. Again, you can get these at any office supply store. I got the heavier weights, but it doesn't really matter. And then I just slip this in here. But th the problem with this though, is that when you use a dry erase marker, one of these things on this, it, it's hard to clean, but these are designed to use the dry erase markers. So you can just write to your heart's content on these. Uh, these are great for classrooms. Uh, also at home, if you don't want to spend a, a, you know, a lot of money on paper and you're not doing a lot of drills on graphs and stuff, well, that's what this comes in. All right, so get yourself one of these. I highly recommend this. It will make your life so much easier. Now, another thing you can get is one of these page holders. They're pretty neat. Again, most office supply stores have them. And the nice thing about them is that on your desk, if you want to have something to hold up your homework, something like this, it's pretty neat. Whoop, like that. Okay? So I select the side view right there. And if you want something a little bit fancier, uh, we have, there are these book stands, which I also recommend you get. Uh, this is how you would just. Kind of like uh, I use my chest to prop this thing up, get it right in there like that. And again, you can put uh, your homework up here if you like, or textbooks. And that's the next thing I want to talk to you about. 